what's up guys um so just got through doing my abs cardio workout and uh getting my 20 30 minutes post-workout cardio in i want to take this time to talk about cardio <clears throat> and mean different ways to make cardio more efficient um so what are we doing cardio for well if you're watching this channel i'm assuming that you're using cardio as a means to drop body fat one of the ways I found to make cardio more efficient is to vary your forms of cardio you use. So, for instance, if you generally end your workout and you do 20 to 30 minutes of, uh, or not even necessarily post-workout, but anytime you do cardio. If you do your cardio and you're consistently using the same form of cardio, uh, meaning you're doing the treadmill, elliptical trainer, uh, bike, this is good, I mean, you're getting your cardio in, but you wanna make it more efficient. Over time, or a more efficient practice to, uh, to engage in is to actually regularly vary your cardio. And number one reason for that is that the body is the ultimate adaptive mechanism. I mean, that's why we lift weights, muscles get bigger. Um, any activity that we engage in on a regular basis the body is going to adapt to it and become more efficient at it, at performing that activity. Now, one of the key or one of the chief aspects of becoming more efficient at something is the body learns to conserve energy, okay? When I say conserve energy, it basically will engage in that same activity, but over time, it's going to take less calories to do that activity uh, proficiently than it did when you first started. Just like if you ever did any running, if you ever engaged in any sports activity, it might have been really difficult in the beginning, but after a week or two, the body got better at it. Depending on how often you came back to that, to that uh, stressor or stimulus, the body got better at it, it became more efficient at it, and it stopped being so hard. And this is good when the end is to become better at that specific activity. But if your goal is to actually use the activity as a means to burn fat, then this calorie conserving uh, factor that the body uses as a, as a form of survival, as an adaptive mechanism, actually makes your cardio less efficient. You actually won't, don't wanna be better at it. You don't wanna become better at your cardio. To me, if you wanna maximize your cardiovascular activity, you want to use that cardio just enough to where the body can't become great at it. And once something becomes easier, you then need to rotate out that cardio. The reason being, like I said, is you want to maintain that caloric inefficiency that you had initially. So like I said, if you already if you started running, usually I know if I haven't run in a long time and I start running, you get that kind of like, that kind of, that itchy kind of, recovering crackhead kind of feel or um you know what hold on i don't know about that feeling from experience as far as the recovering crackhead but i'm assuming based upon visual observation that it's something like that that kind of itchy feeling and then you get those uh those side stitches you know with that pain in your side when you run too much or you go beyond what you're comfortable with um yeah that is a sign of inefficiency at that activity. Now, I'm not saying you want to feel like, you don't want something to feel like torture whenever you do it, but once it becomes a breeze, once it becomes a walk in the park, you need to then vary that form of cardio because you've gotten too good at it. So, how do you apply this in the real world? Okay, post-workout, I got 30 minutes of cardio. All right, I'm on the elliptical right now. I might do 10 minutes on the elliptical, 10 minutes on the treadmill, 10 minutes on the bike. Or maybe you want to vary it from workout to workout. Just change from workout to workout. But try to vary your forms of cardio. I believe that this is a really kind of no-brainer, easy way to maximize the fat loss process. Um, with little, I mean, it's not like it really, it really changes things too much for you as far as like, it's not like you got to completely overhaul what you're doing. If you're going to a commercial gym, just get on a get on a different piece of a uh, cardio equipment. So sometimes I get on the rower and I knock off my 10 minutes there, or I'll do 
15 and 15, half and half. You know, if I'm doing 30 minutes. So, just a little quick tip on how to maximize cardio for fat loss. Got any questions, shoot me an email at tc at cannonstrong.com. tc at cannonstrong.com. Cannon out.